Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I have a quick uh, technical uh, bulletin in regards to the skeleton holsters, just a little bit of update, uh, an FYI. Uh, first of all, let me say uh, thank you to everybody who's ordered one. Uh, they've become very popular and we're shipping dozens of them every week and it's, uh, it's pretty outstanding. And so thank you guys for your support and I'm really happy to see how this design is taking off the way it is. Um, so, let me uh, uh, forward this by saying that of the literally hundreds of skeleton holsters, that we've sold. We have had but one single occurrence of what I'm going to uh, discuss with you right now. No, it's not any kind of like negligent discharge or, uh, you know, malfunction of the, of the weapon in a dangerous way. But what we have seen is one individual managed to uh, fracture their strut and they returned the holster and we replaced the strut and it's uh, in good working order again. I want to discuss uh, what the strut is designed to do and what it's not designed to do. Um, that is, the strut is designed to withstand the, the uh, vertical forces of the gun being, you know, pulled out of the holster as it's secured in the belt. And what it's also designed to do is resist uh, repeated uh, torquing, you know, in terms of the, you know, rotation of the gun in relationship to the belt. Now, as minimal as this holster is, the belt itself, the belt and your pants, uh, work with the holster to, in some ways, help strengthen it. So as the belt passes through here and you snug your belt down, what that does is that prevents a lot of flex in the strut itself. So when you go to draw the gun, you know, it comes right out or what have you. Um, what the strut is not designed to do, and what it also will not experience during normal use, even in like a grapple or a gun grab, is this kind of stress, the kind of stress where it is pried very far away from the gun because the belt and your pants will resist that far more than the strut can and frankly far more than the strut is designed to do. Now what we see is that these pull the dot straps are very very stubborn when they're new. Uh, sometimes that might involve the application of a small amount of screwdriver leverage uh, in between the uh, snaps to help, the, to help it break in, but after some repeated use, it will break in quite nicely to the point where it unsnaps uh, easily uh, in the correct direction, but still maintains plenty of its tension going the other way. Um, <clears throat> I've seen in person some folks struggle with uh, manipulating that strap when it's new to the point where they will, uh, I'm just gonna simulate it here, when they're trying to undo the strap, they'll actually pull very hard uh, and prying the strut open to the point where they're uh, introducing a lot of uh, uh, stress to the strut. So if you have one of these that's stubborn or is being stubborn, make sure that when you're operating this snap, try to put your fingers through the strap and hold on to it so that you're not allowing the strut to torque. So when you do apply leverage to the uh, snap to get it to disengage, you're not forcing the strap open. And also, when you're prying against it, you're actually just not applying leverage to the button. The button will, you know, it, when it's stubborn, the button's stronger than the strut. So, you know, obviously you're just pry, prying on, you're just transmitting the force to here instead of to the buckle. So with a little bit of mechanical sympathy, you can, uh, you know, mitigate the stress on the strut and just pop the snap open. Uh, if you can't get a finger in there, just hold it at the top here and do your prying from there. Now, uh, this is a very, 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 very rare occurrence, which, uh, you know, this failure has so far occurred to, you know, like I said, a single holster, which accounts for less than a fraction of a percent of the uh, total holsters of this model that we've sold. Um, and we've done some other things uh, over the past uh, couple weeks and months to help uh, improve the quality of the strut. For one, we've made them a little more low profile with less of a pronounced right angle in them, which should, uh, <coughs> pardon me, which should help uh, uh, strengthen them as well as keep the holster more ergonomic. But uh, like I said, just be aware of what the strut is designed to do and what it's not designed to do and how you can help uh, keep the uh, lifespan and you know, functional service life of your holster as long as possible. Obviously, uh, if something does happen to your holster where there is any kind of uh, breakage or failure, uh, you can always, 
always send it back for a repair or replacement um, unconditionally. You know, even if you, you know, run it over or otherwise destroy it, um, it's des it's designed to last. If you, uh, you know, like any piece of gear, gear will last you as well as you treat it. So, uh, so that's about the long and short of it. So just be aware that. You know, during the period of time that this snap takes to break in and become a little more uh, uh, malleable, just be aware of what the limitations of the strut are and what it's designed to do. So, you know, like I said, give it a little squeeze to prevent it from flexing and operate the button like that until it's nice and uh, until it becomes like this one and nice and broken in. So, obviously, if you don't have any questions, uh, Give me an email at philster617 at gmail.com. If you have a uh, warranty concern, you know, feel free to uh, uh, address that with us. Uh, thanks again to everybody who's uh, gotten involved in the skeleton system, and I'm happy to see how it's uh, taken off in popularity, not only in terms of uh, 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 our holsters, but in terms of uh, the, uh, uh, the, the inspiration that it's uh, given to other people. I think that's very, very cool indeed. So uh, have a great uh, weekend. Have a good Veterans Day. And uh, happy birthday to the uh, United States Marine Corps.